if you just go ahead and die down there, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> hello, old friend. <gasps> Hi, Jeff. Well, hello, Rachel. Good morning from Las Vegas. Good morning. <laughs> I have to tell you, are you guys ready for the F1? Oh, oh my gosh. They kicked it off last night. Fireworks, all craziness. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, this town rolled out the red carpet, but it's been a struggle. I tell you, man, it's been, it's been bizarre. So it's all shut down. I was just there a couple of nights ago. Yeah. It's, it's just crazy. crazy. You know, and we have 10 years of this. We signed a 10 year lease with the, but you know what? Let's go for it, man. I'm proud to have it here. I'm a native. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's make lemonades. Yes. Yes. <laughs> First of all, I have to say, I am such a fan of yours. And so this is the first time Aww. I've ever, I've met you. Also, I have a huge crush on you. I just think you're just fantastic. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I just love everything you do. I mean, so just, uh, this is a total thrill for me. So thank you. Oh, you're, that, yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm so glad to finally be able to talk about this project. So yeah, um, tell us about it now. Goosebumps, the season finale. And yeah. uh, uh, tell us what fans can expect. I mean, without giving spoilers away, I guess. <laughs> Sure. Well, the season finale, it's where we've left off in episode nine is and eight is kind of that, um, you know, we're fine. Like everything's been solved. You know, we can finally relax. Slappy's gone over a cliff. You know what I mean? Like we're done with that. And really, all, without spoiling anything, all I can say is, is that we've only just begun. Like we're just starting to like unearth what's really going on underneath. Um, and you'll see some of the most fantastic prosthetic makeup that I've ever seen uh, used. It, it's so crazy. And I can give you like a little behind the scenes stuff. Like the makeup was so crazy that when we were doing scenes together, we, we could not stop laughing at each other and dead serious scenes. But it was so intense mm -hmm. that we would laugh because, uh, because we looked so insane. So that's great. And that's, I guess you had an early call for getting into makeup like that. T take us through a typical, uh, you know, how to get that yeah. well that was it they actually did great uh putting us in that makeup um but it was about an hour in the chair an hour 15 but but uh in the beginning they were placing everything so it took a little bit longer but it was really after we shot removing it that was more difficult than actually having it put on uh <laughs> that was tricky and it no. was like you're exhausted and tired and I mean, it's a good problem to have but um but that just the application all of that is it's a lot but again it's so amazing and so i was so lucky that i got to do all that prosthetic work so that's that's what i can tease too is that you're going to see a lot of prosthetic makeup now your background is comedy and there's a lot of famous stories of actors who get in the makeup you know and go off the lot or go have dinner somewhere or something yes. Did you do that? Did you have fun with your makeup or? Jeff, that's so amazing that you bring that up. I haven't even thought about talking about that aspect of it, but we would, <laughs> we, well, we would be shooting on set and then we'd have to get in the van and drive to the base camp, right? But we would have to go through town because we shot in Vancouver. And <laughs> I remember sitting in the front seat and mothers with children, you know, like if we were at the end of the day and I kept thinking, I would forget, we'd forget that we'd have this insane makeup on. <laughs> and, uh, and I remember seeing a couple children and parents looking up and being like, Oh, and, and it's, it's plausible enough that it looks, I don't want to give it away, but yeah, it was so plausible enough that you'd be like that person, that, that, that's a crazy person. <laughs> and, and it wouldn't look like it was prosthetic makeup. So, so I remember thinking I wanted to get out of the car and say, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Cause I have little kids and I was like, no, 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 it's, it's okay. Look, feel it. It's, it's just fake. It's, it's Hollywood. Fake makeup, yes. But we, <laughs> yes, we would laugh so hard um, and, uh, and scare young children. Well, with, now with Slappy, face. you know, Slappy the dummy is iconic in the R.L. Stein and the Goosebumps universe. And I've interviewed stars who've worked on all the Chucky movies and the Chucky TV series. And no matter what they say, they're just uncomfortable around the doll. So how creepy is it being around Slappy? 
<laughs> yeah, it's really creepy. Yeah. It is. It, it's it, it's very creepy. So creepy that, that I think they actually actually wanted me to do a bit with Slappy, and I was like, mm -mm, I'm not going to see that guy again. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do. I don't want to do any, any any of this. I don't do any of this with Slappy. <laughs> no, it's very creepy. And then also, <laughs> the you know, it it takes a special kind of person that works with those dolls, you know. So that's enough said. Yes, because I was one of those kids that said. was into ventriloquism when I was a little boy. You know, I'm Generation X. You know, so I was. I was doing it. I got it for Christmas, you know, and I tried. I was terrible at it, but it just, they, I didn't want that thing in my room afterward, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, and then, uh, yeah, and it would just pop up. But I, I mean, I had, I had great scenes with Slappy, which isn't really a spoiler. You know, like you see me like telling him that I'm going to, you know, get rid of him and <laughs> shut him up. And that was actually very satisfying. It now, they say in Hollywood, you know, never work with children or animals and you work with kids, you know, so how were they? How was the cast working with the kids? Yeah, um, they, you know, it's funny because they're all uh, in their 20s, you know, and they're all pretty accomplished actors. Right. So for them to be playing high school kids, it was great. Now, I've done the opposite where I was working with actual kids, like in all of the Diary of a Wimpy, like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid films. And that is insane. Not because of the kids necessarily, but because of the parents that are the <laughs> that, are, yeah. that are the stage parents of the kids. Wow, my publicist is probably looking at me like, "Stop, stop talking." <laughs> um, no, but uh, but the kids in this film or in, in this series are um, are total pros and good friends and hilarious and uh, like little Price that plays my son. I got to work with him a lot. Um, just you know, this is the thing: their enthusiasm. Rob Hubel and Justin Long and I uh, would talk about working with these, even in their 20s, we would say their enthusiasm and their hope and their excitement is really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd be like, calm down, calm yeah. down. It's six in the morning yeah. and they're already just doing bits and they're going crazy and we're like, we're excited, but you, you need to, it's, it's, yeah, you need to bring it down. Now, I've, right. I've spoken to many actors who've worked on Stephen King films, and I always say, have you met Stephen King? What did he think? And no one has ever met Stephen King, no matter how many movies they've done. So did you get to meet R.L. Stein for Goosebumps? No, I didn't get to meet R.L. Stein, but it's exciting because <laughs> R.L. Stein does, uh, he does a cameo in the show. So that's going to be revealed. <laughs> Maybe that is a spoiler. I don't know. Oh. Somebody's running in like, stop. No, um, stop it. No, but... Well, it's they'll probably so, email me and say, Jeff, cut that out. So, <laughs> so. Uh, no, I, I don't think so because, because I'm not saying exactly what he's doing. So, but we didn't get to meet him, but Rob Letterman did our executive producer. And that was a real highlight for him. So um, I've interviewed our, him. He's just a wonderful man. He really is. He's a wonderful man. And what's, what's exciting is that he loves this, the series. So I feel like if he loves the series and he's excited about it, we're doing something right. You know, so it just feels it's it's all very exciting. And in our final moments here, Rachel, I just say I took drama in high school. I took drama in college and I love improvisation. And I know you worked with the groundlings. And in when I started my career, I was the last person to interview Phil Hartman, you know, before is. Yeah. Oh. So I was the last. Yeah. I was a huge oh, fan yeah. of his. And I know that he worked with the groundlings. Now, I know you also taught there and I've always dreamed about taking a workshop or something. So can you give me one lesson? What lesson would you give me uh, if I was to take a class of the groundlings? What, what, what would you tell me? I would tell you that no matter what you're doing, try everything, be fearless because you have to kind of get to that place where when you're improvising that you're not editing yourself or, or holding back, but just to trust yourself. And the best thing about taking improv class is that it helps you, that it, it helps you in every aspect of your life. So like if you're nervous about going into a party, you'll suddenly understand like, oh, all I have to do is show up and say yes. And like whatever somebody's talking about, you, know, you can say yes, and and I've done this. And then when you don't know what to say or you don't know what to do, trust that and just make space for that. You know, that's like the greatest thing that I ever got from, from all of my improv classes was just to be completely fearless, trust my gut, and I know enough. You know, like when we go into conversations, you're like, I don't know. I haven't read that book or, or I haven't, I don't know what they're talking about. Like I'm very open now. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Like no shame. So that's what I would say. 
Well, thank you very much. What a, what a great lesson. And I'm a, hopefully I can be considered one of the groundlings now. So <laughs> thank you so much, Rachel. Congratulations on the series. This has been a total thrill and let's do it again soon. Thank you so much. You can. You know what? We're, we're, uh, thank you, Jeff. I love you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.